Alright, what we doing today? Yeah, that's some drop feed. A drop feed. Yeah. You taking anything off the top? No. Keeping no. the sideburn? Yeah. Just a How little low. You want sideburn? You want chin strap it? Yeah. Alright, that's about it? Yeah, man. Right. That's cool. What's going on, Stacks gang? Y'all already know what time it is. Uh, first, we want to ensure that we pick out the entire client's head to get everything to the nice desired length. You don't want them to fall off the top, so good thing we don't got to chop anything off. So here I'm going in with my gold FXs, create my guideline. My client want to drop for fade. There's plenty of ways you can do a drop feed. This is how I do mine. A dry feed consists of your feed coming high and then dropping as you get closer to the back of the neck area. As you can see right here. But we started high and then we start dropping. Yeah. Here yeah, I'm going in with my clippers. I'm going level all the way open. Going up a finger's width. First, we're going straight across and then we're going to drop it. Because, of course, my client want to keep the C cups. So, we ensure that we want to keep the C cups and drop it into the beard. He don't, he changed his mind and he didn't want the chin strap. So, instead of the chin strap, he wanted to keep the beard high. Here we go. We just locked in right now. Level all the way open. Create now our, our first initial. Here we go. Level halfway open. Or you can say halfway closed. It's just it's just in the middle of all the way open and all the way closed. So we dead on the middle and we going up. You know half half of the between the guideline. And where we took our level all the way open at. You know. Being sure that you're hitting everything. With the level that you're using. Because it'll get everything to the nice length. Whereas though you, the blend game is just going to be real crazy. Okay so here I'm going to level all the way close. As you can see I flicked it all the way up. And I'm just taking out the guideline that we made with the trimmers, you know. Just locked in. Super deeper focus. Super deeper locked in. You know. Now we're going with, in with the 116, which is the 0.5. This is the smallest guard we're using. And I'm just going up another finger's width. And we're going to drop it. And I apologize for looking like a mohawk right now. That's because my camera, the lighting that I wanted did not fit for me to get the back, the whole, you know, the whole left side of his head. So it will look like I'm, like I'm making a mohawk in a way right now because I didn't hit the back area. But we're going to get to that. So we're going to level all the way open. And remind you, if a client got this much hair or, you know, just not wavelength or too short. You want to ensure that when you get closer to the top of the head, you flicking out. So I did my flick out motion already. And I just got the level all the way open. Just, you know, going up a finger's width, creating another guideline. Now right here, I'm going halfway open, halfway closed. I don't want to confuse y'all, so I'm going to say halfway, you know, halfway open. That's what I'm going to say, halfway open. We going in between the guidelines that we made with with the one sixteenth. Now we're going all the way close right here, taking out the line. Remind you, my client want to keep his C cups, so that's why closer to closer to his forehead, I'm not touching none of the hairs. Yep. Now we're going all the way. Open with the one guard. Because of course the one camera has to the point five. So we're using the one guard right here. 
we just you see how i'm flicking out you want to flick out because you don't want to dig into the head you just want to flick out get a nice flick out motion yep, give it a nice flick out motion level all the way open you know you see i'm flicking out you don't want to dig in the head that's dope everything coming together slowly but surely but we just super locked in so you know again it's, it's easier for me to pick out um things that i should be fixing or things that i should be you know adjusting or adapting to you know it's just detailing you know everything coming together real nice and my client already picked his hair out before he came, but you know, I still at the end of the day had to, you know, just allow me to do my job by picking his hair as well. Taking an extra step. We go halfway. Here we go halfway, halfway open. Now we're going all the way close right here. <clears throat> coming together real good you see the drop kind of look like a mohawk but it you know everything will come together you won't see no drop if it's a mohawk it'll be a drop feed here we're going in my one with my 1 1.5 um you know just ensuring that we get the hair you know flicked out as you know you see me flicking out so you want to get the hair flicked out as much as possible so that way when it's time so you know scalp the top everything will be perfect you can have to do less work because you already detailing with the tremors so we're gonna level all the way open yep coming together real dope so you can see it look like a um a mountain on the top of you know the curve of his of his head where the high hair is we want to leave that because that'll help us um show that we've been flicking out like now kind of look like a cliff or like a, um that you know the, the, a cliff of a mountain we just flicking out you know everything looking looking good coming together good we got level halfway you know we just trying to get this feed together Damn, that's pretty dope Bling game crazy, everything looking good. Here's the number two guard on this side because particular it is real. It's, it's it's something about this side that I had to go out one extra guard just on this side. But we getting there, y'all. We getting there. Now here's the back guard, y'all. Was telling you because i'm familiar with the guidelines i put in i can you know go ahead and free form this how i want you i'm going to level all the way open of course you know just going up with fingers with it's coming together real clean but as you can see you see the mountain on the left side that i created with the flick out motion and that helps me ensure that i'm getting every guideline how I want to get it we're going to level halfway open you know just hit just hit just hit and we're going all the way close which we just did now we're going in with the one sixteenth guard which is the point five and we're just going up and I'm also flicking out here because I need to remove some of the head just so I can see what's next and and you know how far up i gotta go or maybe if i'm i, I don't want to go too far up with this 116. okay we're going halfway now we halfway with the 116. we can flick out as well you know just a little bit just a tiny bit not too much we ain't really trying to hurt nothing When you when you when you leave the top of the, the guideline that you done built 
what whatever if it's what a god or without a god you want to ensure that you hitting everything before you you know move to the next step because if you don't the blend won't come out it won't turn out how you want it to turn out you're going to turn is it even going to turn out sloppy it's going to turn out lopsided or you know it won't you won't have no blend at all but we love all the way close you know love all the way close Now we're going in with number one, flicking out. See me flicking out, flicking out, flicking out, flicking out, flicking out. Flicking out. Always remember, when you got a client with high hair who don't want nothing took off the top, please, as you get closer to the high hairs, please flick out. Please. It'll only make your job easier because... You're not taking so much hair off the, as, as you're going up and up and up. Because I could have easily used a guard, you know, as I, you know, went to the top, but I didn't. This is where it's more comfortable for me. And we're going halfway open. You know, halfway open. Everything come together real clean. Composer consists of a drop because he want to drop feed, so... Why I'm not going so up so far. It may look like it, probably because of how the camera set up, but it is I'm really not up that far. Wait till he turns sideways again. Everything come together real clean. And don't forget, you you can go off of how what techniques you learn, and you know you don't gotta take everything I say or everything I do, and you know. You can be yourself with it. A lot of majority of barbers, especially the young barbers, got their own way of, you know, doing things. Here's the 1.5, you know. We just closed it just now, halfway. Halfway open. Now we're going all the way close right here. You know, same steps that we did on the first one. Now I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I can talk. Wow. I'm... Um, y'all watching because you know if you locked in you locked in and I feel like we all locked in and I, that's what I want y'all to be when y'all come to my videos and, and I mean and my YouTube channel and I, I want y'all to just see you know I just want y'all to see the growth like I said I've been cutting for two years two years it's been a lot of ups and downs it's been rough you know times got it's it been hard you know even though sometimes some days I get might be easier than the other or you know but at the slightest I always found a way to maintain everything I had to do in order so I can grow myself and, and I'm growing the YouTube channel growing my my clientele is growing you know people slowly recognizing me slowly but surely and I want to see surely on the quick end of things you know and for some of y'all just you know first time on my channel this always the opposite side of the first side i, I did is gonna always be me you know just chatting with y'all rapping to y'all letting y'all know how i you know how how long i've been cutting no you know just personal stuff about me you know everything come together real good you see how it's dropping in the back that's what he want that's what my client want and, and, and sometimes it's a preference thing with your client. You know, I might drop feed, somebody like get somebody a drop feed like this, but your client might don't want it exactly like this. So you got to come up with your own techniques of how you do things. You know, I'm brushing one feed in one, you know, barber school terminology. And I've, did, I've never went to barber school, but as I started going, you know, taking a route of being around, you know, in the barber industry. That's what I hear from majority of people who either teaching people or, you know, just been to barber school itself. Brush one, fade one is barber school terminology. And as you can see, I'm fully locked in. I'm all the way locked in. Not halfway, not in the middle. We all the way locked in. Everything come together real dope. Real dope. 
pretty clean. And um, I just, I, it's, a, it's a lot of stuff I really want want to say within these these videos that I give to y'all because, you know, I didn't, I, I've never had nobody teach me how to cut hair. Never. Like I said, I shouted out um, Beam in my last, in my very first video. You know, although I haven't been really watching Beam how I used to watch him, um, I feel like he, he made a big impact in my life and, you know, and I'm going to forever stand on that. You know, one day, hopefully, I get big enough for him to recognize and, you know, for me and him to rap to each other and, you know, just, just for him to know that I took a lot of stuff, you know, into consideration. That's what I want from y'all. I want I want to be able to pass on the knowledge that I've learned myself or, you know, might have learned from somebody else. But I want it where though nobody can say that Tay did not give them no kind of knowledge to what he known. Tay will always give you any kind of source of knowledge that I can give you in order for you to finish doing what you want to do in your daily life. But also when you come in the shop, you know the ins and out to it. Or whether it be mobile, you know. But as you can see, we just we just fully locked in, bro. We we locked in. That ain't nothing stopping me right now. I'm fully locked in, like all the way locked in. And this feed coming together real clean. And that's the island. The, the, that's the island. You know, the cliff. The cliff overhanging over the mountain that I was telling you about on top of the feed. Everything come together real clean. I want to I wanna take the time to, you know, shout out the um, Sushi Boy for the beat as well. Sushi Boy. It's my guy. Everything come together real clean. I want to shout out to the other barbers inside the shop as well too because I've took on and learned a lot of things from these guys. Whether it's cutting or outside of cutting. You know, I just learned a lot from the guys that's inside the shop. Even, you know, with the owner of the shop. He's showing me better ways to being the, you know, just owning the business on the aspect side of things as far as me on the outside looking in. Some of the other barbers, you know, I just... Their work, you know, some of their work inspired me. We might not talk about it a lot because we so busy cutting. And, you know, by the time we done cutting, it's all, already time to pack up. We tired. So we, we don't really get as much time to wrap. That's how. That's just how it been lately. But on the flip side of things, you know, everything always cool, aesthetic. Everything always good. Here, I'm just, you know going and you know lining up the beard it's pretty simple it's the same steps that we use when we feeding or if we giving somebody a temp it's the same steps we using but it's backwards now my guard is I have no guard so I'm using the lever all the way open starting from the top then we're gonna halfway close it and then we're gonna close it completely then what comes after no guard is a 116th, which is a 0.5. That's when we go down under the no guard that we, you know, didn't use. And we just start locking in from there. You know, you want to blend it. Here, I'm just knocking down some of the hair because it's sticking over the hairline. One thing I don't like is when barbers give their client a nice, a really, really nice hairline. But... The hair is sticking over the hairline so you barely can see the depth in it. Yes, I shaved some of the hair, hair off. Yes, my client was cool with it. Yes, he trusted me. Yes, he, you know, just wanted my opinion on certain things. And as a barber, you got to be able to spread your opinion on certain things because some people not used to getting certain things so they're not going to be cool with it unless you explain. And I went in with my whole spray which was got to be glue out. Like I told y'all, I like spritz spray too. So it depends on what what kind of mood I'm in, but they both work perfect. Now it's just blow drying and just brushing. 
all the hair to one length so that that way when it's all said and done you know every it'll be a straight line and all the hair will be even it's almost equivalent to us picking the hair out you gotta prep the head okay i'm just lining them up like i said he want to keep the bed as high as possible but that's what we're going to do I shave some of his, I trim down, you know, in the way I, you know, I, I, I think it's called snowball, um, you know, just the, you know, just the side heads and everything, I shave them down, clip the split ends and everything, you know, even with the chin hair, you know, you do the same thing, you want to get everything to one length. Clean together real good. Yeah, we're just gonna start off lining them up. See, people got their different ways of how they see straight lines or how they, you know, about to start lining people up. So you do what's, what's, what's comfortable for you. Don't let nobody take you out your game. Don't let nobody take you out your element. You line up how you wanna line up. Nobody started off in this barber industry or, you know, just as a barber, super duper nice. It was levels to it. And that's why I'm passing my gems down. I have a lot of clients ho hollering at me. You know, I have a lot of other clients, you know, other people clients looking at my work. But people, you know, sometimes other clients will hop in my chair. Sometimes they don't. But at the end of the day, they learn something from, you know, even watching my chill just sitting in my chair. Right here, we just hit the vertical bars. And then now we, you know, just going over the C cup. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to show y'all, but um, my camera was dying, like real bad. So I couldn't get everything how I wanted to. Here we going in with the um, enhancements. Yeah. Like I said, shout out to Tune 45. You got OG Walk out here, that's good too. You know, it is, it is a preference thing. Depending on what state you in, you know, how dark people want their enhancements or how light or how natural, you know. How much depth look at that everything coming together clean you're gonna line the c cups up with the enhancements that's looking real clean and, and for people say oh you over sprayed or you and you did that and you did i'm in a state where over spray is not a thing over spray is when it look like beijing Beijing is Beijing is is, is is something I wouldn't mess with. That's what you want to call an overspray, which which is not even a spray on. It just look like somebody. It's, it's crazy. But look at that. Everything come together real clean. You see the drop in the back. Everything come together real clean. I like to line up anywhere the line that I, I shaped up. Oh, trust me, these enhancements going to catch it for sure. Look at how clean this is coming. That's clean. That's clean. Now I'm going in with real hair fibers. A lot of people use the powder like Topic and stuff like that. But no, nah, these hair fibers right here. Once you get these hair fibers, it's called real hair fibers. Once you get these, look, look, just look at the magic. Because it's, it's more so not powdery. It actually looks like real strains of hair. Yeah, it might cost you some money, but hey, when we in the shop, we gonna make that money back. Especially if you cut it how you pose to cut a client. Like not everybody gonna like the, the haircut that you put on a client that just got out your chair, but they might like it. So sometimes it's, is 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 about other people how they feel about your 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 personal look, but at the same time, you you really can't you can't don too hard on it because it'll mess you up in life. Let's start what you got going on. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But it's always room for your barber to fix it. If you just say, hey, can you fix it? While I'm here, instead of leaving out and having somebody else telling you something, and then now you feel it's, it's awkward. Here I'm going in with my barber magic pencil. And we're just going to give it some depth. Like I said, it's just like concealer. 
when when females done their eyebrows, they put the conceal on at the end, you know, to blur everything out. That's basically what that's like. And this fade came together clean. Clean, clean, clean. That's real dope now. I'm just going to blend the pencil in. Like I said, some people you use razors. Me, personally, I'm not the type of person that's going to tell you not to use a razor. But here is your preference. I do not like using trimmers on the bed area. Oh, I love using razors on the, on, the, on the bed area. Which I did before I drew through the enhancements on in the pencil. I used a razor, a straight razor. Look at that, everything come together clean. Look at that fade. You still see the mountain though, but we gonna get there. Trust me, we gonna get there. We gonna clean the mountain up at that when it's all said and done. That's the only way to go is to clean the mountain up. That's the la very last thing that we gonna do is clean the mountain up. That's real dope. Here we go now. We're cleaning the mountain up right here. You see how I shaved it off? Now we're blending like a, a curve. You know, you knock the mountain off. That's clean, bro. That's clean. That's dope. That's dope. And my channel here, I'm here to, you know, take construction, constructive criticism. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. All right, tell me how you, tell me how you, tell me what you feel about it, bro. Here we go. Tell me how you feel about it. Oh, shit. Yes, go. Damn. Yo, everything, everything. Man, this is perfect, man. Everything, everything. Damn. Tell them where you from. Man, I'm from Guyana. Do they get haircuts like this? Yeah, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Uh, can't even recognize myself. <laughs> uh, you can't recognize yourself? Man, this look good, man. All right. Here we go. When I'm super duper locked in, we got guys transitioning themselves from looking 100% like this and they're coming looking like this. Let's go. Let's lock in, y'all. Drop a sub, drop a like, drop a comment, whatever you feel that you feel is right for supporting the channel. Let's get it, let's lock in. I hope y'all learned a lot from this video and this is my last upload for the 2023. And we just gonna strive the entire 2024. So let's get it, let's lock in. Turn on them bells so you won't miss a video. And let's just, let's, let's go up from here, let's strive. Indeed.